Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got it covered for you. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action, I want to invite you to join. You'll have access to the VIP Club section, and you see all these tabs across the top here. These have all the tools that will help you make your picks. Okay, so we're into the MLB Divisional Playoff Round. We're going to look at uh, National League games for October the 6th. So we're going to take a look at these two games. The first one is New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Mets are coming off an impressive win over the Brewers, a ninth inning comeback to advance to the divisional round. The Phillies are coming in with the number two seed in the league and the best home record in the Major League Baseball. Uh, they're average at the moment, winners of three out of the last six, while the Mets are average up four and two over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, the Phillies have been involved in games entirely over the line out of the last six, while the Mets have been involved in games under the line in three out of the last five. The score prediction is for Philadelphia 4 and the Mets 3, but look at the confidence in the prediction. Very, very low right now at 26%. The starting pitchers have not yet been named for this one. Uh, take a look back a little bit later. You will probably see the stars uh, named uh, prior to the start of Sunday's game. On the power ranks indicator, both teams on the upward trend, the Mets having the edge of 21 to 15. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, you see here the Mets have won two out of the last three, three out of the last four. But overall for the season, the Phillies have won eight out of the 13 meetings. And um, the starting pitchers have done very well, with the exception of Taiwan Walker, who is not even on the postseason roster. So that is a positive for the Phillies coming in. Um, if you take a look at the stability factor, you can see the Phillies are much more consistent at plus 32 compared to the Mets at plus 17. It just means that they're um, performing more consistently with regard to their favorite underdog status. The Phillies have a plus 113 to plus 71 scoring differential edge on the season, and the Mets are a solid 43 and 39 on the road. They were 89 and 73 during the season, and the Phillies were 75, or excuse me, 95 and 67 with the second best record in baseball. I like the Phillies here, but I'm going to pass on the over and under bet. And then we also have the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers, two NL West teams battling it out. The Padres come in burning hot, winners of their last two, taking the Braves uh, easily, and winners of four out of the last six. Well, the Dodgers are also burning hot, and they are five and one over the last six. If you take a look at the starting pitching matchup, New Darvish versus Jack Flaherty. Darvish is um, seven and three with three point three one ERA, um, as he is uh, one more with 2.37 ERA over his last three starts. He's a very solid bet at plus $694 on the pitcher profit oscillator. Uh, Flaherty, on the other hand, is 7-5 with a solid 2.95 ERA. Um, but he is only has a 4.97 ERA over his last three starts. He is also a good bet, not quite as good, but still a good bet at plus $332. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been involved mostly in games over the line. But it's looking like eight out of the last 11 between the two teams combined. The power ranks indicator shows that the Dodgers are at plus 29 and the Padres are in steep upward climb over the last few days from 17 up to 26. And that's because of the two wins over the Braves. The score prediction is for the uh, Padres 4 to 1 with confidence in the prediction at 57%. If you take a look at the head to head matchup, you can see that the Dodgers won two out of the last three. And then the Padres had a three-game streak at home. And then the Dodgers won one, the Padres won one. So it's pretty even even up during the course of the season. And actually, overall, it is, um, let's see, seven. Yeah, it was actually seven out of 11 for the Padres. So actually, the Padres won more than the Dodgers this year, seven out of the 11. Um, if you take a look at the overall records, the Dodgers with the best record in the league at 98 and 64, and they are 52 and 29 at home. While the Padres were a very good 93 and 69, and a, a pretty solid, actually pretty excellent road record of 48 and 33. So if you look at the run differential, this is where the Dodgers really have the edge at plus 151 to plus 91. And if you look at the stability factor. Here's another thing. The Dodgers are extremely more consistent. You look at this almost a straight upward trend at plus 39, while the Padres were, you know, back and forth as far as their stability, and they 
uh, are now at plus 15. So in the end, I think this is going to be the Dodgers game at home, but I'm going to go with an lower scoring game. So let's go with the Dodgers and under the line. So there you have it. Those are the two games for Major League Baseball playoffs for October the 6th. Happy betting and see you again next week.